Hello and welcome to Phobia Season 13, Barophobia. Woo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this season, uh, we're doing Barophobia, the fear of gravity. So, and you can probably tell by the spawn, the whole world is flipped upside down. That's right. There's not much more to say about that. The whole world's flipped upside down. Uh, glowstone will generate in trees. Blocks will decay over time once you step in them. There are custom dungeons to help get food and stuff. And all your crafting recipes are upside down. So yeah, it'll take 15 seconds to, uh, for a block to decay once you step in it. And things like slabs and crafting tables, furnaces, etc., they won't decay. Uh, Dom, if you want to go over the players. Uh, sure, I'll go over the players. Uh, so first off, we have uh, Skylord returning from last season. We have uh, BBR also returning from last season. Uh, Berg returning from season 10. Uh, of course, you have myself. Uh, Crimson returning from last season. Silenal returning from last season. Dana B returning from last season. 18 Qs returning from, if I'm not mistaken, season 5. Very long time ago. Uh, Fairy returning from last season. Fluesmaker returning from last season. Leon, I oh, know, wait, Leon's not playing. Longa Vita. Longa Vita, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, returning uh, from last season. Returning from last season. Uh, Mikey Michael uh, returning from season 11, not last season. Uh, Kraft returning from season. Uh, 10. God, I can't read stats. Yes, 10. Um, Reggie, also returning from last season. Uh, Scrib. Did you break some... No. Break the... <laughs> okay. Uh, Scrib, returning from last season. Uh, Paradox, returning from season 11. Uh, Zero, returning from last season. Rolf, returning from season 7. Also a long time ago. Uh, of course, Jamie. Um, and Speedo, also returning from last season. And I, I, I guess we have a new player. I guess we have a new player. Um, it's, it's, it's Lenboy. Um. Ikor couldn't be with us today. Yeah. Ikor, Ikor couldn't make it, so, uh, we scraped the bottom of the barrel for a new player. And. Lenboy came out. Yeah, Len offered, um. Okay, now I have to go over the game rules. Um, absorption is off, not chops are off. Golden heads will effectively function as a normal gap. They'll only heal two, and they won't, but they won't stack. Apple rates are one, flint rates are 40%. Shears do work for apples and leaves. Uh, no horses, because that'll be dumb. Pearl damage will deal one heart. Double arrows on fire and flame. You have to find a book for it. Uh, staircasing is something stupid like my y 137 <laughs> to, yeah. y, to whatever the bedrock level is i think it's like y 170 uh full bed allowed talks been allowed outline doors allowed uh anything else i forgot oh yeah the map size will be 1300 by 1300 and obviously due to the game mode water and lava do not flow so leon tg is going to give us a demonstration on how to create obsidian okay if you want to make obsidian, you have to t make two buckets. You place one wa la water down and then place a lava next to it to create the obsidian. The, 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 it doesn't destroy the water though, so you can pick it back up afterwards. And that's how you make it. Thank you. Very informative. Revolutionary. So, uh, nether's off, ends off. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. Uh, let's I play season two. <laughs>
Hello everybody, welcome to Barophobia Season 14. So, uh, yeah, we got an interesting, very, very interesting game mode here. Um, this was actually the first Phobia game mode that I've ever played. This was the scrapped Season 7 game mode that was rumored after Season 7 was released. Um, and Decay doesn't start for a few minutes, so I'm going to try and take advantage of that as fast as I can. Uh, I have to keep in mind also that it is upside down crafting, so I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. Um, so let me do this. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Alright, so... Yeah, anyway, here we are. Back again, Phobia FFA. Um... Last one I played was my first season, where I unfortunately did not record. Um, that was completely by mistake, obviously, because I've played something around 90 recorded runs so far, and that was the one that I haven't ever recorded. Other ones, it was either a mistake with OBS scene footage or something of the like. And I'm gonna try and abuse this time that we have before the decay to get as many apples and shit as possible because obviously you want to get as much as you can in this short time time span. Um, I'm gonna be very very careful with how I play this game. When we played the test game, I got absolutely destroyed in a fight, so do not by any means expect anything crazy. Um, upside down crafting is literally obnoxious as fuck, oh my god. Nope, that's not how that goes. Alright. Do that, throw my wood pick out, and I'm gonna try and... <laughs> okay, Vanny. I'm gonna just break all these leaves really fast and see what I can do in the short time that I have before the decay starts, because this is going to be a disaster very fast. Um, I don't think I'm going to get much in the way of... Alright, there's a sapling. I can actually work with that. What? Okay. Um, well, I guess nobody has to worry about dying first. <laughs> that was interesting. Alright, Vanny. Anyway, um... See how the case starts in, what, two minutes now? That's a big uh-oh. Um, I didn't really get that much wood, but I can live off of what I have so far. I was, um... I was actually at work earlier today, and I was thinking how I was going to go about my commentary this season, and I think I'm going to go with, like, a podcasty type method. Um, the thing is, though, is that I don't know how or what I'm going to talk about specifically, so I'm probably just going to wing things and just try and ramble a lot, so if you're not exactly keen on listening to me ramble for hopefully two hours, then I recommend watching somebody else, because I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fucking talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. That is, unless I'm in a fight, because obviously I'll probably be focusing on the fight more than keeping my commentary up. However, I will try and do my best to talk while fighting. Um, we have officially one minute until decay. And, um, I think my food, my dinner just got here, actually, so I might just not talk for the rest of this episode and eat food while I play, and then... From episode 2 onwards, I will hopefully continue. And, um, yeah. I mean, this game mode gets much less scary as soon as you enter, like, the actual ground portion of the map. However, obviously caves are very interesting. I don't know where this light is coming from. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have full right off. So I think this much might just be a lighting glitch, which is interesting. That's a skeleton. Do not shoot me. I'd like to be Iron Man. Let's run this way. Um, this boy's really gonna fleece me, isn't he? I'm really not trying to get shot, so... If you wanna come over here, homie, go for it. Okay, he's right there. 
There's an enchanted bow, so I want to be careful with how I go after this. Uh, the cave is supposed to be on, so I'm confused as to why it's not. Okay, now it is. Alright, I got him. Good. Uh, the bone meal is actually very important, so I'm going to keep that in mind. Um, the cave looks like it's happening very much faster than I thought it would. But it's not nearly as fast as it was in the test game, I don't believe, so... Oh, there goes Rolf! <laughs> GG. <laughs> that sucks. Um, yeah, a lot of people are not expecting this decay. I think that the decay is happening a lot faster than it was advertised. I don't think this is 15. It could be, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, but yeah, caving is going to be interesting, that's for sure. I haven't seen a single mob yet, so that might be a problem. Like a passive mob, I mean. It's a spider. I could fish if I absolutely need to. So... Okay, there's a chicken. I guess they dumb down the rates a lot or something, which makes sense because during the test test games, a few of the lag portions were because of things such as too many mobs in caves, or more specifically, it was because of the pathing of sheep. Like sheep AI pathing is very weird in Minecraft for whatever reason, because they try to find grass so they can regrow all their wool. And this is a very scary portion of the map. I do not like standing here. Okay, yeah. Um, miss me with that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was very not enjoyable to look at. Um, very soon, I will hopefully go up to a higher Y level because obviously this is very, <laughs> very tricky. Oh boy. Um, let me do that. <laughs> That's one way to cheat the system, I guess. Oh, fuck, it's not... Damn it. Keep forgetting. Um, okay. But yeah, this is the one way that you can cheat the system is by placing crafting tables, so... Definitely gonna take advantage of that. Um, I know some people are probably gonna exclusively use slabs, which is interesting. I personally would not do that, but obviously I'm not playing for everybody in this game. I'm playing for myself. Um, I think diamond level is, like, a lot higher than this, so I have to go very far down from where I am currently. Or very far upwards, sorry. And I guess we need two, two buckets to make obsidian as well, although I don't have... I have two sugar canes, so I'll have to go back to the surface at some point to get more, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I feel like this... My favorite biome in the test game was jungles, so I hope there's at least one jungle on this map, because... Getting wood is a lot easier in a jungle, because there's more logs, obviously, and more trees, and more everything, really. So, um, I'm gonna replace that. I'm just gonna do that every time I, like, have a chance of, um, like, falling, and I'm doing something kind of important. So I feel like that's the best way to go about things. Um, let me use torches. Oh my god, upside-down torches is the worst thing in the world. Alright. I have to move kind of quick, because obviously this the cave catches up kind of fast, so. Like, if I was super, like, if this was like an actual SMP or something, I would be placing crafting tables everywhere, but obviously it's a UHC, so I can't do that. I just, no, oh, that was the dirt breaking behind me. I was like, did I just break dirt? That's another thing, too, is that this game mode, with the decay, um, if it might fake you out as to who as to if anybody is following you or not. So that could be very, very tricky. Hopefully that doesn't occur to me in this game, but you never know. Um, I would like to find lava or more mobs or something right now.
Jeez, this is such, like, Dom pointed that out in the Discord when we, like, were planning this out and everything, and he's like, how weird is it to say, oh, I have to find diamonds, let me go upwards. Because, like, normally when you say go up, that means go start a very other portion of your game, which is obviously hunting and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, my food's here, so I will be right back. Alright, I'm done eating. Sorry about that. Um, I'm highlighting my episodes anyway, probably, so... I don't think that should be too much of an issue, but... Yeah, everybody's realized that there aren't really that many passive mobs in the caves as, of, as there were in the test games. Um, I could show you guys footage from the test game, I guess, right now, and show you how many mobs there were in the caves beforehand. Um... I guess this was an error made by Sid, but that's fine, because Sid made the map, as he did in the original Season 7 as well. I'm almost back at Y12 again, so that's unfortunate, but... Neon says, aha, in the chat, what does that mean? I guess he had mobs spawning off or some shit. Alright, there's the end of the episode. I'll see you all next time. I lived past F1. Hell yeah.